Okay, let's talk about eggs. Well, actually, we're going to be talking about percent, but I'll tell you what, eggs, I don't know about you, but some of my favorite uh, breakfast meals are with eggs, omelets, sunny side up, et cetera, et cetera. And hopefully most of you out there are like with me, like, I love eggs, hard boiled eggs, whatever the case is. Listen, we still want to be able to afford eggs. And if you haven't been paying attention with inflation going on right now, uh, egg prices have increased. And so what we want to do is kind of turn this into a little mini math problem and take a look at this example right here. So here we have a dozen eggs and uh, they used to cost, let's say $3 and 75 cents. And even then, uh, you know, at least based upon the time of this video, that was pretty expensive. So it all depends on where you, you know, what state you're buying eggs in. But let's suppose your dozen of eggs went from $3.75 to $5 a dozen. Hopefully they don't continue to increase much more. But the question is, what is the percent of increase? How, what percent did the cost of these eggs right here go up? Okay, so feel free to use a calculator. If you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comments section. I'm actually gonna show you the correct result in just one second. Then we're gonna walk through step-by-step step how to solve this basic percent of increase problem. All right, but uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. It really is my true passion to help as many people as I possibly can understand mathematics. And I'm telling you right now, all of you could be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time in mathematics. Please do not give up. There's absolute hope. What you need is great math instruction. See, math is a very technical subject, and there's nothing worse than being in a classroom or trying to learn from a book or something where you're just totally confused the entire time because you're actually not learning, right? If you're sitting down and you're just completely confused, it's really kind of a waste of time, unfortunately. And because math is a very technical subject, you know, people can get lost in all the terminology. The way I like to teach math is to explain things in easy to understand language so everybody can get what's going on without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're studying for, something like the GED, SAT, maybe a teacher certification exam, anything that requires mathematics, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. Most students take average notes. If you truly want to be awesome in math, you have to take great math notes, right? Everyone should have excellent math notes to study from. So you can use mine in the meantime as you improve your notes. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about eggs and hopefully... You know, uh, this inflation doesn't get much worse and we can kind of get those egg prices back down. But anyways, let's figure out the percent of increase. This dozen of eggs went from $3.75 to $5. What was the percent of increase? Well, here it is, 33.3%. That's how uh, much uh, those egg, the dozen of eggs increased in price. Okay, so how'd you do? Hopefully this was pretty easy for you. If you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face in A+, plus, A 100%, and multiple stars so you can show off to your friends and family that you understand the uh, percent, how to figure out percent of increase. Maybe what they'll do is say, you're awesome. Maybe you can tutor me, and what I'll do is make you a nice egg sandwich or something like that because, you know, we are talking about eggs, and I'm probably getting a little bit hungry as I'm making this video. Anyways, let's Let's go ahead and talk about how to figure this out. All right, so how do we figure out percent of increase? Well, you obviously need to know something about percent. So if you don't know how to do basic percent problems, well, I'm going to suggest that you kind of brush up on, uh, you know, how to find a percent of a number, all that kind of good stuff. If you need help with percent, I literally have a ton of YouTube videos on percent. But if you want a little bit more formal instruction, 
uh, check out my, my Math Foundations course. It's a little mini course. I go over percent and all kinds of basic stuff in uh, elementary school, decimals, place value, fractions, all those good stuff that we, most uh, people have forgotten. You can check out that course, or I do teach percent in my pre-algebra and algebra one course as well. But you really need to make sure you understand percent as this symbol is so important to our daily lives. Okay, but uh, we have a nice little formula here for percent of increase. And I'm just kind of writing it this way. There's a lot of different ways you can kind of express this formula. But effectively, what we need to do is this. We need to take the new price, all right? And specifically, it's in this order, not the old price. I'm starting with the new price. So we're going to take the new price. We're talking about percent of increase, not percent of decrease. So what we're going to do is take the new price, which, of course, is what? The new price is 5 bucks, but we need to subtract the, the old price away from the new price, right? So it's the new minus old, and then we're going to divide that by the old, okay? Let's go ahead and see how this works right now, and you'll see how we'll get a decimal, and then we'll, get, uh, that, we'll turn that decimal into a percent. So what we're going to do is find the differences of the prices, right? So how much did the eggs go up? Well, we're going to start with our new price because we are talking, about, again, about increase. We don't want to have a negative value. If these were flipped around. If we had 375 minus $5, you would have a negative number. So you got to be careful of that, right? So it's going to be $5 minus 375. This will be the change in price. And we need to compare that to the original price. A lot of students get confused and they want to compare that to the new price. No, we need to, we're, we're, at, we're thinking about the percent of increase increase from what from the original price right our original old price of eggs went up okay so we want to see by how much what was the percent of that old price how much did it increase okay so this is the basic formula right here again it's going to be that new amount minus the old amount over the uh, old amount so let's go ahead and actually do this calculation right now this is not that difficult. By the way, always feel free to use a calculator when you're doing this stuff. So we have $5 minus 375. That's 125. That's going to be divided by 375. When we use our calculator, you're going to get 0.3 repeating or 0.333. The threes go on and on and on. So what we have here is a decimal. So we're not done yet. We want a percent. So how do we convert a decimal to percent? Well, there's basically uh, two ways to think about it. You can move the decimal point over two places to the right, which is the same as multiplying by 100. So effectively, the kind of formula is take your decimal, multiply by 100. The result is just moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So when we do that, we end up with 33.3%. So conceptually, what we're thinking about here is that our egg price has increased 33.3%. In other words, there was a 33.3% increase on the old prices, and that's how we got to this new price. And hopefully, these go back down. Uh, let's hope for that because I'm pretty sure most of you out there watching this video uh, enjoy eggs as much as I do, right? You know, like omelets and egg sandwiches, hard boiled eggs, etc., etc. But you got to be careful uh, because I guess they say that if you eat too many eggs, there's too much cholesterol. Well, you know, you do need cholesterol as well. Cholesterol is actually very good for your brain thinking, but uh, certainly don't take any um, medical advice from me. But when it comes to math, hopefully you do take some math advice from me. Again, percent has a lot of different types of proms and flavors and varieties into it. There's percent of increased proms. There's a percent of decreased proms. There's how to find the percent of a number. So, you know, if you need help with percent, you know, there, if there's any one math topic or math skill that we all need, it's percent, okay, because uh, percent is everywhere in our um, everyday life. You know, this is what we call practical mathematics, right? So a lot of you probably remember, uh, or if you, you know, were out of, been out of school for a long time, you know, and for, as a math teacher, I've heard this many, so many times, and when am I going to use this algebra? When am I going to use this trigonometry? I'm never going to use this in real day, you know, everyday life. You know, a lot of that's true, okay? You, you, you're not going to use the quadratic formula in your everyday life. I get that. But in terms of percent, yes, this right here you will use in your everyday life and throughout your life. So you want to know a lot about percent. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.